Hello everyone and welcome to the Kung Fu Panda tier list review. I just want to pretext this. I am a very, very strong fan of Kung Fu Panda. Yesterday I watched Kung Fu Panda 1 and 2 and I found out it's one of my favorite shows or movies actually filled with so much symbolism. I, I kind of got the hang of the characters names but it's super duper interesting and i thought you know what fuck it why not let's make a tier list though out of this and see how it goes because to be fair i have some uh big brain theories about some of the characters actually mainly one uh shen the peacock or if i'm not mistaken so anyway let's get right into the tier list and yeah let's get it started all right, so the first character that we are going to look deeper into is uh, pretty much going to be Mr. Pooh, because as we all know, or actually it's Poe, uh, Mr. Poe, he's a pretty chill guy, you know, he uh, likes food, has a big belly, he's being raised by uh, Mr. Ping, which is his dad, uh, loves noodles, pretty good character, uh, you know, he's the, he's the main protagonist, but is he that interesting? Not really. I think he deserves uh, a B tier. Mainly for the fact that I don't really like pandas. They're very stupid in general. And uh, yeah, it kind of reflects in this movie as well. So he's a solid B tier, B -tier <laughs> for me. Then we got Master Shifu. Master Shifu knows how to train Big Boy with some food. So, uh, you know, he kind of reminds me of a red panda or a rat. Uh, I'll go with the red panda for this fact, but you know, he has a pretty cool fight with uh, this guy. Uh, I, I don't know. I'm just gonna call him the gray panther They have a pretty cool fight Obviously, he gets his ass beat because you know, that's a motherfucking lion or tiger or panther or whatever And he's just a little red panda or rat um, But yeah, he knows how to tame uh, Poe, so I'm gonna give him an A tier now First up, we have our obvious S tier, Mr. Ugwe. He says some wise man shit. Like, he's old. He reminds me of the average old man on the street who tells you some random quotes about how, you know, when I was your age, I used to shit on the toilet, not on the street. And, you know, he'd be saying that to a homeless person. But I think in general, Master Ugwe is a pretty wholesome character. You know, he, he disappears with the flowers, which is kind of sad because it's super early on in the first movie. And you kind of just wish like, oh, I wish he was here longer. But then, you know, everything always happens for a reason. So yeah, he's a, he's an obvious S tier. Plus he's a turtle. Turtles, I fuck with him. And we got a buffalo. I, I don't remember who he is. I think he's one of the guys in the second movie. Uh, so Kung Fu Panda 2. Uh, I think he was one of the masters of the city where Chen, or uh, what's the, the the evil duck's name, uh, where the peacock was at. Uh, he's one of the masters that got captured. Uh, we didn't see him much. He's a buffalo. I'll give him an easy D tier. Wasn't too significant. Now, this motherfucker, this big boy over here is one of my favorite characters just because he's an orphan to mr rat and he tries killing the rat so you know for the sole fact that he's pretty overpowered he can defeat all five of them <laughs> like so he fights tigress uh, mantis viper crane monkey and all that you know he's pretty badass so i'm going to say i like this villain a lot and he deserves it easy s tier now tigress tigress cold heart of bitch instant e tier not f because there's worse um, let's go Mantis. I like Mantis. He made a funny joke about how if he ever got a girlfriend, it would eat his head. So that's going to be a B tier. I absolutely hate the Viper, the snake, snake girl. She reminds me of a prep student. Uh, and I don't really, you know, vibe with that all the time because sometimes, you know, it just makes you feel bad when you're in school and you see like someone that's like prepping really hard. Good on them, right? But fuck, it makes you wish you were doing something which you know it's kind of hard to push yourself to do so that's instant f tier trash garbage crane you know broken wing don't know how he regenerated that so fast in the second movie but just for the fact that he has that hidden superpower i think he deserves a b tier he doesn't talk much he just kind of flies around he always is a pose manhandler it's kind of like when you're uh 
when you walk by, like, I don't know. Oh, actually, I have no clue. All I know is that he manhandles Poe in just about every scene, helping Poe climb or, you know, fall with grace. That's pretty cool. Jackie Chan plays this monkey, instant S tier. Monkey likes to do monkey things, doesn't talk much, just monkey. I like them. They're cool. Mr. Pink, instant S tier. Talks about noodles, has dreams, very ambitious, hardworking. He is secretly who the, the the character that has the most transformation in this movie we show he has a lot of like character to him we see him develop in the second movie realizing that poe uh you know accepts him as a father and he he tells the entire story the background of how he eventually adopted poe and gave up radishes additionally in the first movie he realized poe's dreams and he's just a very loving and caring father very wholesome character instant s tier I like him so much. Rhino dude who was at the prison in the first movie. You know, i just going to say I hate him. Absolutely hate him. Because he stepped on the tail of Grey Panther. Very unfortunate. Must have hurt Grey Panther's feelings a lot. And he was being very overwhelming and cocky when he said, Yeah, my prison is safe. No one will break out. It's an F tier, you know. Like, he, he fucked up. He uh, caused... Some big troubles for that one village. An entire town had to be evacuated because he was too cocky and refused to take advice. Now, Master, uh, I think it's Master Shen, uh, is from Kung Fu Panda 2, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Master Shen or Lord Shen, the peacock. You know, I'm just going to give you my entire theory about this peacock. This peacock is the embodiment of either Ramesses or Mao Zedong. It's crazy, I know, but I have a very valid point. So he starts off with orchestrating uh, a mass genocide, um, trying to wipe out all pandas because it's revealed to him that a panda will get in his way, will determine his fate, whatever, right? And he wants to control his fate, kind of like uh, what happened with little baby Moses. So. Um, he gets all pandas killed, which in the case of Ramesses was all uh, men and boy, male children in, uh, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, the Bible. And uh, it, it led to some horrible uh, war crimes in the Kung Fu Panda world, or uh, let's say this, uh, this version of China. So for that reason, he's already... A bit of a confusing character but it becomes weird because you know Ramses okay excusable happened like 3,000 years ago or so right but when or 2,000 I don't know I don't know what Moses came around to be but still pretty interesting uh, section or uh, symbolism that you can see it could act as a metaphor now when we look deeper into him there's the entire iron uh, collecting we, we start off uh, Kung Fu Panda 2 nearly instantly with a scene where uh, Big Bad Wolf is attacking a village of rabbits and stuff, trying to steal as much metal and stuff. And this kind of reminded me of Mao Zedong's first, uh, one of his, the Great Leap Forward, when he was uh, calling for massive amounts of iron to be collected and molted into uh, weaponry and iron bars and steel to boost steel production. Now this was in the highest quality, but we can see that that is kind of reflected in the movie too, with the, season, the seizing of huge amounts of iron to cast it into cannons and stuff. So is this a, 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 a metaphor for Mao Zedong? Is Master Shen Mao Zedong? You know, honestly, I think so in a way, but you know, it's contested Ramesses or Mao Zedong. It really could be either way. So for that reason, he gets a B tier. And uh, no, A tier. He's a pretty cool character. Uh, just because he's so he, he he can be interpreted in so many ways. It's like you know, it's like post processionalism uh, for archaeology. Just let everyone interpret how they want. Although, you know, Loki, those are the objective realities. Now, this annoying goat was so annoying. She, she, she brought quite a bit into the second move, you know, telling Poe where he truly came from. But in general, very lacking character. Plucked some of Master Shen's feathers. Ah, C tier. Very average. 
Gorilla Warrior. I like him a lot because he's a gorilla, you know, he just kind of walks around, he complained to Master Shen about, do we really have to move this? So that was pretty cool. I, I like how he had some individuality stood up for himself. Um, because, you know, he's a big-ass gorilla. What's Master Shen gonna do? Stab him? Well, probably. But, still, super cool character. The wolf. Actually, I have quite a bit of pity for this wolf. He gets subjected to Master Shen's horrible treatment. Uh, and honestly, all he was doing is just carrying out the orders of his master. Of course, you know, we're all individuals in here, but this is Kung Fu Panda too. Um, interestingly, I also came into the realization because of the wolf, uh, the wolves and so forth, that in Kung Fu Panda, you can eat each other. So I, d I don't know, like, if it's ethical, if there's farms for little piggies, uh, or if they all just eat rice, but... I'm assuming that they eat each other because the wolf said, or I'll eat you to one of the rabbits he was harassing uh, because the rice wasn't cooked right. So, you know, I, I have a feeling that the wolf actually, you know, has a larger impact than we think. Uh, but in general, he's kind of a lackluster character, shows up several times, has a bunch of goons fighting for him. Uh, but in general, he doesn't show up enough times to really captivate me in the same way as anyone else. Although he did let me think about whether, you know, do these guys eat each other? Does Tigris eat, like, Shifus? I don't know. So, uh, yeah, B tier. Alligator. I don't like crocodiles. I don't like alligators. I don't like scary reptiles that can tear off my leg in a death spin. Um, and he was a very lacking character in the second movie. He barely did anything. He was just kind of like the rhino, uh, buffalo, I mean. Um, so yeah, pretty underwhelming. Uh, and I will just go ahead and drag him to where I think he deserves to be. A E tier with Tigris. Okay, now we got this little fat piggy. I really just despise how this character looks. Look at his face. I hate all the pigs in Kung Fu Panda. They're all horrible. They are whiny bastards. They only want one thing, and that is food, or to see Mr. Panda. And in the first movie, the pigs even look at Panda and say, oh, he's not a dragon warrior. Ugh, always doubting my homie's skills. Instant F tier. Anyway, guys, that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed my tier list. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one.